Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Now, Nanobot, I know you think I need to get my eyes tested, but there's really no need. Everything is A1, pin sharp, in perfect focus. Oh, yes. Can I just say, you're looking particularly cool today, nurse. Loving what you've done with your hair. Um, I'm over here, Professor. What? So who have I been talking to for the last 15 minutes? Your own reflection. Ouch! All right, all right. Let's go to Sally Specs, the dynamic dispensing optician, and talk with Simon Squint. He's a brilliant optometrist. And maybe we could get some facts for our new eye guide whilst we're at it. I don't know why you've left it so long, Professor Hallux. Well, exams are scary. What if I get the wrong answers? It isn't that sort of test. It's just a checkup for your eyes. That's right. And as you only get one pair of eyes to last your whole life, it makes sense to look after them. So what sort of things happen in an eye exam? Well, I'll ask you some questions to see if there are any problems with your eyes. Maybe you get headaches when you're reading or have trouble seeing the screen at the cinema. So far, so good. Then I'll have a look inside your eyes using this. It's called an ophthalmoscope. Hang on. What do you mean, look inside my eyes? You don't have to take them out of my head, do you? I don't like the sound of that at all. Don't be silly, Professor. Simon's just going to shine a light into your eye so he can look inside, and he won't even touch an eyelash. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I'll have a good look at the different parts of your eyes. Now, if you can move your eyes up and down and then left to right, I can check that your eyes move as they should do and work together. I suppose it isn't very helpful if your eyes point in opposite directions. It can happen. That's called strabismus. But you'll probably have heard it referred to as a squint. It's pretty common and there are lots of things we can do to help your eyes work as a team. Well, this isn't sounding too bad so far. What else are you going to do in your eye exam? Well, I'm going to ask you to read from this page and also from the eye chart on the wall. You can see it has some patterns and some letters that light up on it. I'll turn off the light to make it easy to see. Mine is a computerised display, but sometimes they're just printed, like a poster. Sometimes these charts hang on the wall opposite where you sit, or they may be behind you so you can look at its reflection in a mirror. Well, that doesn't look scary, unless the words ours, gag, nozzle scares you. Gosh, what language is that? The letters don't spell anything, Professor. They're just lined up in different sizes to help Mr Squint see how well you can see. All well and good. I happen to be brilliant at reading out letters. But what if I don't know my ABC? How would you test little children or people who can't read? It's simple. We use pictures instead of letters. Here's some. They're called Cardiff cards. Whether it's letters or pictures, I'll ask you which ones you can see clearly. We start with the big ones, but if you look on my chart, you'll see that they start getting smaller and smaller. You can tell me when they start getting fuzzy. The ones at the bottom are impossibly tiny. Even an eagle-eyed, well, eagle wouldn't be able to read those. The chart tells me if you need some help to see things clearly. If you're having trouble seeing some of the letters, I have a special gizmo that lets us try out a bunch of different lenses to find out which ones make things as sharp as possible. Here, check it out. Ha! It looks like a big wacky pair of glasses. It's called a trial frame. I can slot in different lenses to find out which ones are best for you. And as I change them, I'll probably say, is it better with this one or that one? So what's the right answer? It's up to you. There is no right answer. Just what's best for you. So can I take these wacky glasses home with me then? I think they're kind of cool. <laughs> Sorry, I need those. If you're going to get glasses, you're going to need to speak with Sally Specs. She's the dispensing optician. She can show you stacks of frames in the shop. It can be fun to try these on. Choose ones that are comfortable and sturdy, but also make sure you like them. You might be wearing them a lot. Thanks, Mr Squint. All that information about what happens in an eye exam can go into the eye guide. Let's get it uploaded. <laughs> Paper. Upload complete. Oh, before you go, Professor, have you got time for a further quick fact for the eye guy? I don't see why not. Well, the colour of your eyes is determined by how much of a pigment called melanin you have in your iris. Blue and green are not actually colours in your eye, but are colours created by the way that light is scattered. It's the same thing that causes the sky to look blue. That's incredible. Both eye-watering and inspiring. Professor Hallux's eye guide with the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Find out more and get hands on at funkidslive.com slash Hallux.